Hey guys, I'm Hassan here. So next expansion, the journey to Anguru is coming out and I'm here to explain you how you can maximize your dust use, how you can get the most cards out as well as how you can just get the general more dust than what you have right now. These are all basic components you may have thought about but you never could have done it or done the math. So here's just one for you. First of all, if you have not crafted or do not have the Hall of Fame cards, please go ahead and craft them right now before expansion hits. And Hall of Fame cards are the Ragnars, the Sylvanas, the Zero Drake Council, Powerwhelming, and Ice Lances. Upon new expansion releases, a Blazer will fully award you for these cards in dust. So if you have a Golden Ragnars, the Blazer is just going to give you 3200 dust. And after you acquire them, when the expansion hits, you can just disenchant them for 1600 extra dust. Which is a full one legendary cards when the expansion hits. So you can craft the most powerful lost Sacred Sum Guru or Journey to Guru legendary cards. Now, Blizzard will only award you for one cent, which means one legend and two non-legend cards per Hall of Fame cards. Which means for legend, rares and epic cards you don't need to actually craft the golden cards if you already have them because the rewards reward is going to be about the same you don't really lose or win any dust by doing it however for regular cards like iceland's you actually still benefit even if you have regular cards by crafting golden iceland's so yeah if you're missing a set please go ahead and craft those cards right now and you will be rewarded with more dust Another thing you can do is you can disenchant all the adventure cards that have gone into the wild. For example, Naxxramas will give you 3,120 deals upon disenchanting every single one of those cards and it already went to the wild and it cost 2,800 gold to buy them so you actually benefit around 320 dust. <laughs> In which if you did not know dust and gold are worth about the same as long as you're not crafting and disenchanting a card with a dust which will be just waste of dust. However, I do suggest to save these goals instead of buying old adventure because the buying new expansion packs will actually give you a little more value than buying whole adventure in my opinion. Unless you're trying to build a specific legends and epic cards from the adventure. Oh, if you're curious, the League of Explorer cards will give you 3170 dust in total if you disenchant them all once it goes to the wild. Another thing you should be doing is disenchanting all your gold cards. If you just hit the disenchant button on their craft section, Blizzard will actually let you keep two sets of gold cards, which is a fair bit of waste. If you already have a golden card set, you don't really need the regular set. If you already have a regular set, unless you're collecting golden cards, you don't really need the two golden sets. You're actually keeping four cards when, only, when a whole set is only two. So if you already have a more than two of the same cards, whether that be gold or regular, disenchant whatever you don't want to keep. Me personally, I'm a gold card collector, so I disenchant the regular non-golden cards. But if you really just needed extra dust for extra legendary cards, then go ahead and disenchant the golden cards, which you might be forgotten. Now, you might be thinking, hey, my son, should I be disenchanting all of the old current existing cards and current meta? Maybe that's not too great after the new expansion hits. Um, I actually strongly urge you, like, don't disenchant the old cards until new meta hits, until the meta has been stabilized. I talked about in my last disenchant, guys, I talked about how cards like Gorhal, you don't want more than two, but then nowadays control warriors actually run two Goral house, which is unheard of back in the days but as meta flows and those cars may come back into the meta and there is no way to really predict those things so unless you're planning to open a bunch of old classic packs which i don't know how you're gonna do that since the arena don't even let you do that anymore please don't disenchant the old cars even if they are classic cars however i will be releasing new disenchant guys once meta stabilized once new expansion hits, because in my experience, one third of cars are actually just bad cars, one third of cars are conditional, and one third of cars are really good cars. And from new expansion, I can clearly tell already from this point, a third of new expansion cars are god tier. They're so powerful, they're so valuable, they're gonna dominate the meta. So perhaps those one third conditional cars from the old days will even be not as good. Which means you should be disenchanting about two thirds of the existing cars because you're never just gonna see them. Which means I should be disenchanting about half of or two thirds of my entire car collection from the past exp past expansions because I'm just never gonna see them ever again. Now, Blizzard did bring a point and they say that they will be bringing in a wild tournament in the future. However, I actually don't trust them too much on this. I believe the wild tournaments will be just like a one time thing. 
and Blizzard should really want the, the current and most exciting, most relevant expansion for the most important tournaments. So even if they bring the tournaments, I don't think it'll be as big. But Blizzard have gone against their wars many times. Maybe the wild will be new standard. Oh my god, I should I should keep all my cards. I should not disenchant anything. Anyways, doing math, uh, I figured that I will be getting about 40,000 dust in total after disenchanting all the old cards as well as all the gore cards I already have on my European account, which should be enough dust to craft really any cards that's going to come out in future. I probably just need to buy 20 to 30 packs, although... I'll be opening a whole lot of packs when expansion hits. But from the math, you can just tell how many, how much dust you can earn from by just doing things that are so basic. People been forgetting about these basics. And to be frankly, maybe you have done it as well. Now, in average, you're expected to open 120 packs from new expansion to get the basically all the cars you need and plus a few legends for you to be able to craft for new meta which is a whole lot of gold and if you don't have those golds you're gonna have to spend some dust instead perhaps this is your chance to go ahead and listen to my words right now and get extra dust that you might need for your extra legendary quests and that's it for today and i will see you guys all in the next video